Phenom. Oh, this is when Phenom got sent to loser's bracket. Man, it's an eight minute video. You must have got smoked. All right, let's check it out. What about Sonic Fox? Sonic Fox is amazing. I'm such a big Sonic Fox fanboy. Don't tell him I said that, though. Are we catching up on today's tournament? Yeah, the one that happened uh, this morning. Nice buffer. Wow, it was actually so far that it didn't even combo. Did you see that? This is one of the kind of best whiff punish tools you have is Nikali. Although, crouching medium punch is good, too. I saw that Sonic Fox tweet. I saw it in the morning. I was like, oh boy. Yeah, Fierce is not a good button to hit. You know, Nikali's buttons are so stubby that after that, I don't even know what he pokes with. I think he should just activate here. Wow, he got the jump in, I guess. You know, that's one thing about Phenom, right? Is that he always has good jumps. His jumps are fantastic. Baited? Nice. That was... Can you believe this dude had enough time? He jumps in... He still has enough time on the EX whiff to dash forward crouching heavy punch. Holy moly. What's good, Neon? Hey, you guys, if you don't watch Neon streams, you guys should check them out. There's a lot of good Street Fighter streamers out there that don't get a lot of views. It's weird to me. I say a lot. Enough is probably the right word. Man, he is getting mauled. This is a bad, bad position for... Um, Nikali, I also like this, by the way. This is cool. Right here. He sees the jump, and he does crouching medium punch. Just out of habit, right? Just in case. But it actually does move him forward a little bit, too, which is kind of nice, right? And you can just harass him at that range. It's like, a, it's, Birdie is a very annoying character to deal with. Because he just, like, he hits buttons, and, like, you always feel like you're going to whiff punish him, and you never do. Yeah, Seismo activate, of course. That's all you need. When you know that they need one Seismo to activate, that's what you have to look for, right? Punish? Yeah, and he gets the medium stomp. Mm -hmm. Medium stomp gives you that combo. Yeah, he's dead. That's That was why that's, the spacing on that was perfect, right? Oh, it's right before this. When he dashes up here, same situation, right? Makes it whiff, dash up. Crouching medium into medium stomp. Normally doesn't combo. Uh, it combos in V-Trigger only. And after medium stomp, you get another crouching medium. Didn't have enough for super, but obviously next hit he will. And this is crouching medium into, into medium stomp and V-trigger is like, you just do it all day when you have super. Because it combos on hit, right? You can just cancel into super easily. True block string, you just do it over and over and over and over. It's very good. Gerald in, uh, in Soul Calibur is really cool. Geralt? Geralt? I don't know. I didn't really like the Witcher games that much. Maybe I should try them on stream. When I played the Witcher off stream, I really liked the world building and I really liked the story. But I hated the combat. I thought it was god awful. Uh, so awful that it really hurt for me to play. Uppercut? Nice. I think jab DP was the best choice because it uh, is fast and it just heads straight up, right? Heavy DP might have missed there. Unless you autocorrect it. He tried to dash command throw there, I think. Command throw? No. He tried to catch him jumping or something. You're negative after the stomp, so you have to respect like the idea of button or command throw. <laughs> wow, that was a big sneeze. Yeah, and then Birdie had one too. I don't blame you. Damn, that buffer. You know, that's one of the biggest things that Nikali has, right? You can... You don't need charge to buffer into disc guidance. So, hit confirming stuff like that is very good. And then, yeah, EX Bullhorn. He's done that a lot. And that's also unsafe on block. Man, Phenom's hair is crazy, man. Yeah, Soul Calibur, I think, has better combat for that character than his own video game. But the, I can't wait for Cyberpunk uh, 2247 or whatever, 2249. I don't remember what it is. It looks amazing. I can't wait to play it. I love RPGs. 2077, that's the one. Yeah, he went for media overhead. Why? I wonder why low 40x stomps so much. He's, he must be reading Birdie walking back to try to whiff punish all day, right? 
That must be what he's trying to scout. Instead of going for sweep, he just he goes a little medium stomp to try to keep it safe. And also, Nikali is so fast, it's very hard to find a good range to jump in on him when he's in V-Trigger because he can just walk up and DP or dash. Like this range right here, it's very hard. He walks so fast and he dashes so quick too. You see, that's why Birdie's hitting so many standing medium punches. Yeah. Nikali can't punish the X tackle. Uh, it should be minus five. I don't know if he has anything that reaches. I don't think his DP would reach, right? Like, I don't know if he has anything good there. You know, like, Ken can reversal DP and stuff. I don't know if he has something that's far enough. I wonder if his EX DP would even hit. It might be too far, you know. That's a good thing to think about. Man, he's using a lot of defensive bullhorn. You know, I wish he had... I don't know if this is a better combo choice or not. I guess it's probably... So right here, right, most people disc guidance, and it just gives you the knockdown and corner carry. But I wonder if he didn't have charge here or if this is actually what he'd prefer, keeping him standing. I feel like you'd want the knockdown against Birdie, right? Man, it's so hard. This character Birdie, you see that? You see what I mean about this character Birdie? You ch like, you have to stick out these buttons from like half screen away because he's so hard to whiff punish, right? Walk up, he's like crouching medium punch, I can't reach him. He whiffs a medium punch, let me hit my fierce. Nah, it ain't happening. So hard, dude. This character is so hard to fight against on the ground. Nice. Throws a view reversal. Remember when he used to get a dash right there and he had mid-screen throw loops? Remember that? I remember that. Uppercut. <clears throat> Regular throw. He still gets a media in the corner. Uppercut. Every day. You have to jump forward there to make that hard to do, I think. Because without, without jumping forward, the neutral jump, uppercutting right there is very easy. Because you just do throw, and if it doesn't hit, you're already buffering uppercut, right? Well, man, I'm surprised that jab won. I think Birdie is good in this season. I don't think he's... He has some tough matchups, and he has whack defense, kind of. I mean, it's not that bad, but it's not that good. I'd say okay defense. Man, oh my days is a cheating commentary sentence. You know that? Oh my days works like always. It works on good things. It works on bad things. There's never a time where oh my days is like, man, why would he say oh my days there? Oh my god, he caught the signs, Mo. I thought he was going to command throw too. Back throw. He gets Oki here. I can't believe Phenom hasn't command thrown yet. Oh no. I think if he did short, it might have reached. Oh my god, he just did it from so far away. What What, what even did Fino? Oh, he just walked into it. He just did bullhead. He was like, yep, it's time. Jab DP. I think on the cross-ups, that's the best choice. I cannot believe he jumped that command throw. He hasn't done any. Oh, no. This is one of those rounds. Yep. I was just going to say, this is one of those rounds. Are you going to take Oki with the chain? No. I like that standing medium kick with. Right? With standing medium kick, it's like the Chun-Li back strong, where it pulls you away, and you just walk back to try to bait throw or whatever else they're going to do. It's like a little fake on there. Wake up to try to make them go for something. I think that was walk back, buffer, stand medium, punch, bullhead, and the bullhead came out on block. He's gonna jump. I thought I thought Phenom was just gonna hold up forward after that throw. Good or bad defense? Oh, uppercut. Of course. Does he jump? I cannot believe he hasn't command zone again. Oh my! He doesn't need it. He's dead. He doesn't need, man, I can't believe that. He doesn't need charge or not here, right? You just release the two button. 
Right? So that's why it's like, yeah. Command throw. EX command throw would have done a shit ton of that. I can't believe he didn't bait that. There's like, he's done EX bullhorn so much. And I think he did this because he expected him to jump. That's crazy. I understand why he did medium kick, right? Medium kick was to catch him grounded. It makes sense in my head. Because, think about it like this, right? In a situation like that, when you flip somebody out, you want to go with the meaty button that will catch them grounded so that you can confirm into something else. Right? So jab, jab there would beat uh, EX Bullhorn, but it's hard to time as a meaty off that consistently. Think, think of, uh, of Chun-Li, right? Chun-Li does standing like kick anti-air and dashes or whatever or something in the old season. You always do standing medium punch, right? Standing medium punch, crouching medium kick, hit confirm spinning bird. Um, and you do that because, like, yeah, it's easier to time. You get good damage. Great, right? If you But if you do short short there with Chun-Li, you'd beat EX Bullhorn, but it's harder to confirm. Well, not harder to confirm. It's just less damage confirmed. A little weirder to time. So he probably did medium kick to, like, make it easy to time, hit him grounded, and then boom, combo after. But, yeah. Jab jab would have beat Bullhorn there. Or command throw, but I was pretty sure he was thinking that he was going to hold up. So it's like 50 50 between another command throw or media attack. Yeah, exactly. Which is, you know, makes sense to me.